the top story tonight. Early voting for the midterm election starts tomorrow. As your local election headquarters, we've been closely following Supreme Court decisions leading up to this time. And so you're prepared to go to the polls. Price McGeehan joining us with what we need to know before we go out tomorrow. That's right, Rebecca. Pulaski County's main site for early voting opens at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Any Arkansan voting, though, needs to remember to bring an approved photo ID with you. Also, there's some issues on the ballot. The Supreme Court recently ruled won't be counted. <laughs> Sarah Sloan helps her nephew climb in the River Market Sunday. I vote every single election since I've turned 18. I've always voted. This voter is also a public school teacher. So I think it's really important to practice what you preach, and I want my students to be involved and informed citizens. On Monday, Arkansans can be involved. Early voting starts in the natural state, meaning Pulaski County's main site on Markham will open. I think every single person's voice is important, and every citizen should ex exercise their right to vote. Eight other places like this library on Baseline will also act as an early voting polling place in the county. I voted for the first time when I first become of age. This baby's aunt says after that, she never went to the polls again. But it's just something my own preference, I guess. For people planning to cast a vote this election like Sloan, the Supreme Court recently ruled issue one, tort reform, and issue three, term limits, won't be counted. I'm not planning on early voting this year. Um, I'm actually going to be doing an absentee ballot, but I have in the past. This aunt will find a way to vote to try to help her nephew any way she can. The general election is November 6th. We've posted on our website, the Secretary of State's webpage, where you can just type in your location and find out where you are registered to vote tomorrow. Just go to kark.com and click on my report right there on the homepage. Back to you, Rebecca. Price, thanks. Speaking of the upcoming November election, the two candidates for the Arkansas Supreme Court runoff election join host Jesse Turner on Capitol View this morning. Justice Courtney Goodson and challenger David Sterling spoke about partner partisanship on the national and local level. This isn't just about Courtney Goodson and position three on the Arkansas Supreme Court. It's about defending the judiciary and the attack that it is under in terms of the independence, being able to buy the independence and take that away from the people of Arkansas. Uh, we all, um, you know, adhere to principles of, of federalism, of constitutionalism, of textualism, um, kind of in the same vein as Justice Scalia, who passed away a couple of years ago. And so, um, you know, that's what I'm, you know, they're, they're taking judicial conservatism to the uh, U.S. Supreme Court. I'm trying to bring judicial conservatism to the Arkansas Supreme Court. In a web exclusive, Sterling and Goodson also gave their take on the Kavanaugh confirmation and a new court packing plan to add four justices to the U.S. Supreme Court in 2021. Remember, Capitol View airs at 8.30 Sunday mornings right before